Hello everybody, Treno here, and today we are continuing our look at the dev blogs for the upcoming update for War Thunder. And today we've got a rather unusual one, the T90 Bishma, I believe it's pronounced as, which is a Russian T90 tank that was modified and sold to the Indian Army. And this is going to be a squadron vehicle at rank 7 in the British tech tree. Now we'll talk more about why it's in the British tech tree and my thoughts on it in a minute. We're just going to look through the stats for the T90 Bishma first. And basically there have been quite a few modifications. The big one to my mind is the lack of a soft kill APS system. The Stora 1 APS system has been dismantled and replaced by additional ERA blocks. So in theory, the tank is better protected against heat weapons but you're less likely to stop missiles from targeting you. Now, as I understand, it was mainly the older obsolete missiles that the APS system was designed to prevent. So perhaps the Indian Army just felt it wasn't something they were going to be encountering on the battlefield and so decided to take the extra protection instead. But depending on who you're fighting, that could be an advantage or disadvantage. Another quite important omission is the lack of the free BM-60 APFS DS round. Now that is the better of the APFS DS rounds used by the T-90, so you're going to have to rely on the free BM-42. The better one had penetration of 567mm at 500m. The 42 has a penetration of 445mm at the same distance. So you're losing about 122mm of penetration. The rest of the ammunition should be the same. So you've got your heat round with 550 millimeters penetration and the anti-tank guided missile with the tandem warhead, which has a penetration of 850 millimeters. In addition to this, there are some minor changes. So an infrared searchlight has been added. There's a different angle on smoke grenade launchers, a slightly different design of dozer blade, and interestingly, extra anti-radiation armor. Although I doubt these last changes are going to have much of an effect, to be honest. Now, like I said at the beginning, this is going to be coming to the British tech tree. So Britain is going to have a basically Russian T-90 in its tech tree with some very minor modifications when used by the Indian army. And basically the reason given for this is that British top tier MBTs are supposed to be niche and more geared towards methodical combat engagements. And we're told that export MBTs and other vehicles that have ties to Commonwealth nations can be added and will allow more options and approaches to British gameplay. We're also told that British light tanks and infantry fighting vehicles are planned for the future. Of course, light tanks is something people have been calling for for a very long time. Now, I need to make a proper video on this, but basically, very quickly, while it does sort of make sense for this to be added to the British tech tree, like I say, it's used by the Indian Army, and so it doesn't really make sense in any other nation's tech trees, except for maybe Russia. My only problem is that there does seem to have been a trend in the last few years that nations are sort of losing their uniqueness. So, for example, if you played a nation, you'd expect to play that nation's tanks. So you played the US Army, you'd play US tanks. German Army, you played German tanks. But there does seem to be a lot of mixing of other nations' tanks in other nations' tech trees. So, for example, the Sherman is now in literally every tech tree. You literally cannot avoid seeing it in a tech tree. And of course, a lot of the time it says premiums. And of course, we've had captured vehicles in the past, but it seems to be getting more and more prevalent. For example, the Finnish subtree basically got a whole line that is mostly foreign vehicles. So like Sweden's now got German, Soviet and allied vehicles. And it just does seem like some nations are losing their uniqueness because, of course, why play down the German tech tree for the Panzer IV when you can just do the Swedish tech tree and have access to the Panzer IV T-34? And if you want to buy it as a premium, the Sherman tank. Or if you're interested in playing the T-55 or T-72, again, just go down the Finnish subtree and maybe you can do it a lot quicker than you could by going down the entirety of the Soviet tech tree. And of course, it is avoidable in some nations, for example, China, Italy, France. You do have to have some gaps filled. And something I do support, they did remove the Soviet PT-76 from the Chinese tech tree and replaced it with a Chinese vehicle. So maybe that could be done in the future. Some of those vehicles can be removed and replaced with domestically produced vehicles. But yeah, like I say, it, it makes sense for it to go to the British tech tree, but I just hope that we're not sort of losing the uniqueness of some nations' tech trees. Anyway, that was just a quick video on the T90 Bishma. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll join me for the next episode. I'm Toreno, and I'll see you next time.